Right now, a private plane touches down in Middleton with more than 60 pounds of drugs on board. How authorities were tipped off to make a bust. I started yelling, what's going on, what's going on? And a, a woman yelled, they're shooting, they're shooting. A day of celebration turns deadly in Kansas City. One dead, more than 20 others hurt when someone opens fire at the end of the Chiefs Super Bowl parade. Many of those injured are children. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. Well, there was a beautiful day across southern Wisconsin. Plenty of blue skies, sunshine, but another winter weather system is just hours away now from dropping some fresh snow on us. We can't make this up. The first one weather team has an alert day in the forecast overnight into tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Alex Harrington joins us now from the patio tonight with the first one forecast to share how much snow we could wake up to. Yeah, Charlotte and Eric, actually, we're going to add to the snow totals here for Madison. Let's get right to our graphics here, folks. We're expecting more snow for Madison and points northward now. A little southward shift in the weather track, looking at anywhere from an inch down towards the Wisconsin-Illinois border, maybe two, three inches here in Madison, isolated four-inch amount, and then that five may be sneaking a six-inch amount just north of Madison. So updating the alert day conditions. We do have winter weather advisories now. One-tier counties further to the south here, Iowa, Dane, over towards Jefferson from midnight to 6 a.m. and points towards the north. We're also adjusting. Gary and I we're showing our snow totals of three to six inches a little bit further to the north of Madison earlier tonight during the four, five, and six. Brought that down a little bit closer to the I-94 corridor. So this includes Dodgeville and Madison over towards Jefferson and Watertown, where again, we could see maybe three, four inches with the heavier mounts just north of, of the I-94 corridor. Already got a little bit of rain and snow knocking on the door over towards Mount Horeb going to, into southwest Wisconsin. You see that rain changing over to that snow. Look at Darlington's probably seeing some wet, heavy snowflakes right now, and it's that rain that's going to quickly change over to snow. We'll go a little slower here. Look at that snow overtake all of southern Wisconsin with a little bit of that rain along the Wisconsin-Illinois border. This is going to be that heavy, wet variety of snow, and it will impact the morning commute. Coming up in Maine weather, we're going to track the end of that snow and just how warm our temperatures are going to swing in the next 10 days. That's all coming up. A private plane that landed at Middleton Municipal Airport this morning was carrying two men and more than 40 pounds of fentanyl. Now to the men's surprise, authorities from the Department of Justice were waiting for them when they landed. Armand Rahman has the details of exactly what happened here, Armand. Eric and Charlotte Corvallis, steward of Madison, and Larry Williamson Jr. of Wanakee were caught at the Middleton Airport last Thursday with about 46 pounds of fentanyl pills and 17 pounds of a meth and fentanyl mixture. Investigators tracked the rental plane to Moray Airplane Company in Middleton after getting a random tip from Arizona. Court documents say the two men were seen carrying the bags from the plane and putting them into a Jeep at Middleton Airport. I reached out to the airport manager for Moray Airplane Company, Richard Moray, to ask him what security measures they take to check the baggage or cargo of the planes that take off and land on their runway. He wouldn't comment on that, but said in a statement, quote, we are absolutely and fully cooperating with all law enforcement. Both men face a mandatory minimum 10 years in prison with a maximum penalty of life in prison. Armand, thank you. Fitchburg's Common Council is rejecting a $46 million new police station design proposal. The facility proposing the intersection of Fish Hatchery Road and Lacey Road would replace the current station at City Hall. However, there was pushback from community groups about the large price tag, with some wanting to see other city services and resources prioritized before police. Fitchburg police say it'll continue to work with the city's leadership to make a new police station a reality in the future. Tomorrow will mark one week since a pair of tornadoes touched down in southern Wisconsin. Authorities in Rock County say the twister that formed near Evansville left behind nearly two and a half million dollars worth of damage. They have that damage estimate down to an exact dollar amount. $2,444,609. The National Weather Service says that tornado was larger than it originally thought, extending its width from an earlier report of 500 yards to 750 yards wide at its peak. A community gathering will be held tomorrow night at Evansville High School for all tornado-impacted residents. It begins at 6 p.m. Madison police say they arrested a man at a Near East Side quick trip yesterday for trying to steal someone's car keys. A man said a stranger approached him after he pulled into the gas station on North 3rd Street and demanded his keys. The two struggled for a bit before the man got away and called police. When officers arrived, the suspect, a 23-year-old man, tried running away but was caught. 
We are not naming him as he hasn't been formally charged yet. Brand new tonight, an 18 year old man has been charged with reckless homicide. The overdose death of a 41 year old Sparta woman. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says Malik Guerra of La Crosse sold the victim fentanyl, which led to her death in November of last year. In addition to a charge of first degree reckless homicide, he's also facing charges of drug trafficking. He'll make his first court appearance later next month. Last week, News 3 Investigates brought you the stories of two women fresh in recovery from alcoholism that had what they might call a nightmare experience in a local sobriety living home. Their stories highlighted the completely unregulated landscape of sober living residences here in Wisconsin. Now, while the state may not be regulating homes that market themselves as sober living, there is another Wisconsin group that's trying to. Braden Ross continues her reporting from last week and joins us with details. Yeah, that's right. Right now, sober living homes are completely unregulated in the state of Wisconsin. There's nothing stopping landlords from marketing their homes as sober living without providing any recovery support. But one Wisconsin, one group of Wisconsin sober living operators knows the risks that poses and they're trying to change it. I would like to believe that everyone operating sober housing has the best interest of their residents in mind. Operating a sober living home takes work. It takes more attention and care than just opening your doors in a house and saying you can live here. But right now, there's nothing legal stopping someone from doing just that. Consumers don't have a way to differentiate what kind of a place is this. Is somebody operating a quote unquote sober house to just have someone pay their mortgage and note on a house that they want to own, but there's no program there. Ginger Morgan runs a sober living program at Prez House Apartments on UW-Madison's campus and serves on the board of the Wisconsin Association of Sober Housing, or WASH. Our goal as an organization is to promote quality and ethical standards in recovery residences across the state. Where the government has no regulatory oversight of sober living homes, WASH offers some. We certify recovery residences in Wisconsin. We do kind of a pretty thorough look to make sure they're following best practices and that the, their clients and residents are protected and that the model that they're using promotes recovery is kind of the bottom line. They also partner with the Wisconsin Department of Health Services and UW-Whitewater to offer trainings for sober living operators. What are the standards that you should abide by? What are the policies and procedures you should have in place? How do you handle grievances? But getting certified by WASH is still voluntary, as is getting on the state of Wisconsin's list of approved recovery residences. And Morgan says until the state steps in to change that, those in recovery will stay at risk. It's not unusual for a state to designate a trusted partner to do the vetting mm -hmm. and wash would love to do that now since its start in 2017 wash has certified 25 recovery residences totaling almost 300 beds here in wisconsin but morgan told me that's just a slim representation of what's needed you can read my full investigation on wisconsin's unregulated sober living landscape online at channel 3000.com a trip to Green Bay is planned later this week for First Lady Dr. Jill Biden. She will land Friday afternoon. Once there, Dr. Biden will visit the Rail Yard Innovation District. She will also be a part of a roundtable talking about expanding career-connected learning. A day of celebration turning tragic in Kansas City during the Chiefs Super Bowl parade. One person was killed and more than 20 others were hurt when someone began shooting near the end of the parade. Of the injured, at least 11 were children. Police have detained three people tonight in connection to the shooting. And they're investigating a motive, but don't believe that terrorism is involved here. Brian Locke shares what witnesses saw. Kansas City, Missouri's day of celebration turned deadly in a split second. There were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Immediately, officers responded to the area, took two people into custody, and also immediately rendered life-sustaining aid to those victims. Tiffany Null says she was standing shoulder to shoulder with spectators at the Chiefs' Super Bowl victory parade when shots rang out. But I heard a pop, and then you just heard screaming, and everybody in front of me just started running, and I, I started yelling, what's going on, what's going on? And a, a woman yelled, they're shooting, they're shooting. Witnesses describe how terrified fans began to run for cover. 
I was just telling everybody to get down, get down, and then like get out the way, and the officers were coming around. Authorities say several gunshot victims sustained life-threatening injuries. Parades, rallies, schools, movies, it seems like almost nothing is safe. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas has joined with mayors across the country in calling for new laws to curb gun violence, including mandating universal background checks. I'm angry at what happened today. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News there is no evidence that Wednesday's mass shooting was an act of terrorism. Brian Locke, CBS News, Kansas City. At this time, we pause to honor those we remember by reading their names. Alyssa Al-Hadef, Scott Beagle, Martin Duque. Well, this was inside a Florida high school during a moment of silence for the 17 people killed six years ago today when a gunman opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. 14 students, three staff members were killed in the Parkland shooting that day. Students at one school in the district honored those killed by forming a large heart on their P.E. field. It's become a tradition on each anniversary of the tragedy for schools in the district. Meanwhile, in Washington, Democrats held a presser to push their Republican colleagues to pass stronger gun control measures. Our gun laws are frozen in the past. It's as if nothing has happened, as if 23 children aren't shot every single day. But why does it take a Parkland or a Uvalde or, quite frankly, when gun violence affects an individual family? Why, why do we need these mass events to, to get our attention? The gunman who carried out the Parkland massacre is serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Still ahead tonight at 10, a groundbreaking for a Metro Transit remodel. And coming up, why renovations are needed for Metro Transit's Hanson Road facility and what all it will be able to provide once complete. Stay with us. Earn a 25 cent high V fuel saver for every $40 you spend this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a 25 cent fuel saver for every $40. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, only at High Beat. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Dale. What's going on, man? I'm remodeling, and I'm looking for a new tankless water heater. You know, Menards always has Richmond water heaters in stock. I'm headed that way now. You want to go? You read my mind. Let's do it. Man, you ever take off that fire suit? <laughs> I sleep in this thing. All right. Man, these stores are incredible. I love having them as a partner. Me too. For the best tankless options, come to Menards for Richmond Water Heaters. And all your home improvement projects. Save big money at Menards. At the Century House, take 10% off our extensive collection of stressless recliners and sofas, or get $400 off stressless Macs and Mike recliners in luxurious Paloma leather, or classic power base recliners in any cover. Plus, get 10% off the new Stressless Sky customizable luxury mattress. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built for Tough. Now get a new F-150 with 1.9% APR financing for 72 months. See your Wisconsin Ford dealer. RSV can seriously impact breathing, even for the best performer. Protect yourself with Pfizer's Abrisbo, a vaccine to prevent lower respiratory disease from RSV in people 60 years and older. It's not for everyone and may not protect all who receive it. Don't get Abrisbo if you've had an allergic reaction to its ingredients. A weakened immune system may decrease your response. Most common side effects are tiredness, headache, injection site pain, and muscle pain. Ask your pharmacist or doctor about Abrisbo today. Earn a 25 cent high V fuel saver for every $40 you spend this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a 25 cent fuel saver for every $40. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, only at High V. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, Little Mike gets me NBA All Star ready. Mike, I'm tired. 
Plus, we've got Gina Torres. And all next week, catch your favorite HGTV design duos. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Moving forward. Madison Metro Transit continues to grow, and with that comes the need for updated facilities. Well, it broke ground this morning on its Hanson Road facility remodel. The facility will support the city's implementation of the bus rapid transit program for the buses to be stored there. It'll also include bus, wa bus wash lanes, repair bays, administrative space, driver lockers, and a lounge. Construction is hoped to be complete by the end of the year. In Janesville, the future Children's Museum of Rock County hasn't gotten enough money yet to open its doors, leaving children there without a permanent place to discover and wonder. An earlier capital campaign launch was expected to be complete by last summer, but not enough money has been raised yet. The president of the museum and the capital campaign chair says there's a reason why the money is coming in slowly. Donors are divided. The challenge is there are a phenomenal, great other capital campaigns going on in Rock County for great uh, programs and great organizations. With the current rate of fundraising, it's hoped the construction would begin by late next year. If you or your loved one received flowers for Valentine's Day, there is a strong chance it passed through Miami's International Airport. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol say around 90% of the fresh-cut flowers sold for Valentine's Day come from South America through Miami. One of the planes, once the planes land, agriculture specialists check bundles of flowers to prevent any harmful diseases from entering the country. The majority of the flowers are from Ecuador and Colombia. As for the most popular flower, you can probably guess what that could be. Most of them are hot roses, so 300 million roses from those countries to Valentine's. So it's, oh, those are huge numbers. Almost one flower per each American living here. The Valentine's Day rush may be over, but the next big flower day is less than three months away, Mother's Day in May. And on this Valentine's Day, if you are in an undefined relationship, you may be part of a growing trend called situationships. It's hard to say. It's hard to define, too, what exactly a situationship is, and that's the point. But it certainly is marketable. Spangler Candy Company has released limited edition candy sweethearts with blurry mixed messaging. <laughs> They're hard to read, like many potentially romantic situations. As for getting those blurry messages on the hearts, they're actually misprints. The company is using situationship trend to its advantage. And when we heard about this new relationship term called the situationship, it was like the answer was right in front of us. <laughs> this entire holiday is about marketing, isn't it? Situationship, which most people believe means more than friends but less than a couple, was in the running for Oxford Dictionary's 2023 Word of the Year. We got a real situationship going on in weather. I guess. I don't yes. know what it is. Snow, rain, we got, we got it coming though, Alex. Yeah, we do have a situation. I'll break it down here for you folks. The snow will turn on overnight tonight. We're going to see a, a decent amount of snowfall from Madison and points off towards the north. A little brief snippet of winter for two days, then right back to the mild weather that we go. So here is the situation, our alert day. Bumping totals up here, one to five, one towards the Illinois border, five north North of Madison, so this is now Dane County and points to the north. We're expecting a slight southward shift in the weather system. So now we've got Iowa, Dane, and Jefferson counties under the winter weather advisory and points towards the north from midnight, so starting in just about an hour and a half here till six o'clock in the morning. Earlier this evening, Gary and I were showing that heavier snow band a little bit further to the north, but with just a tiny bit of a southward shift in this weather system. Now that sneaking Madison dodge will over towards Jefferson and Watertown. Could be looking at two, three, four inches in the morning with those heavier amounts just to the north of Madison. Any further southward shift in the weather system could bring those heavier snow totals a little bit further to the south. I was just out on the patio. There was not anything just a few moments ago, but our Doppler track right now trying to show a mix of rain and snow over Madison off towards the south and towards the west. Platteville, Dodgeville, Darlington, you might be getting some big wet snowflakes at this point in time. And as we carry forth here, our six hour future track radar, I think it's doing a great job painting mostly snow from the Wisconsin Illinois border and points towards the north with again I-94 and points to the north likely seeing the heavier totals. Tracking here three, four o'clock in the morning, probably not doing too much in the way of driving 
at this point, but getting close to heavy snow for Madison, Lone Rock, Dells, and points off towards the north. Monroe and Janesville could also be looking at a little bit of heavy snow around that uh, time frame as well. It does move to the east quickly, so by the time we get to 6 o'clock in the morning, the heavy snow is moving off towards the east, and then we actually have a pretty nice afternoon expected highs up in the middle 30s. You're not seeing any white here. What that means is sunny skies for the afternoon, and that should help out with some of the melting. So really good chance of snow here as we go between midnight and about four o'clock on your Thursday morning. Then as we march out into the future, by the time we get to 10 o'clock, that snow is out of here. And then this weather system, it's quick, but it will come with a little bit of a punch here. As we go into your Thursday morning, that, com that commute will be impacted. Low visibility, allow that extra distance, slow it down a bit. And again, that snow will end after the rush hour. Here's just our little brief a bit of winter here. That's Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Temperatures actually normal for a change. And then as I step out of the way here, look at those temperatures moving into the middle 40s by the time we get out into next week. So we go from winter right back into that El Nino weather pattern where it's very benign, quiet and mild. Pretty scene here, thanks um, from Mount Hora, Rob and Therese. We appreciate that sunrise photo. And again, one week ago, we had the severe weather. Barneville behind that severe weather, showing that double rainbow. And won't mind seeing those snow photos as we go on into your Thursday morning. If it's safe, always do that very, very safely. Alex, thank you. A longtime voice for CBS Sports is announcing his retirement, but not before one final event. Longtime announcer Vern Lundquist will retire after broadcasting his 40th Masters in April from Augusta. The 83-year-old Lundquist previously did play-by-play, -play, announcing many years the voice of SEC football for CBS and, of course, March Madness. But he retired from those roles a few years ago, but he has kept providing coverage from the Masters as his final responsibility for the network. And still to come in sports, does teamwork really make the dream work, or is that just a cliche? Well, for the Badgers, it made last night's dreams come true, and I'll tell you how next on News 3 Now at 10. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide, so there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability. While advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi. And one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479, or scan the call now. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your doctor about Dupixent, the most prescribed biologic for asthma. The Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present Remembering Bobby V, a joyful multimedia show celebrating the Midwest's very own Bobby V and performed by his family. One night only, Saturday, February 17th. Tickets on sale at friendspac.org.
There's no telling what's in store with Wisconsin Lottery Scratch Games. It's paradise. In this $5 game, if the total for any one roll equals seven, you win the corresponding prize. You could also win double or five times the prize, up to $50,000. Instant Scratch Games from the Wisconsin Lottery. Odds are you'll like them. Have Medicare and Medicaid? iCare's dual eligible special needs plans offer an $1,800 annual allowance for eligible groceries and more. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. Earlier this week, we talked about Greg Gard believing in his team despite their recent woes. And last night, his Badgers not only proved him right, and it wasn't necessarily just by beating Ohio State. Snapping their four-game skid was huge, but the team's leadership was bigger. With a few minutes left in the game, Gard called a timeout, and to his surprise, his group of seasoned veterans just took over the huddle. As Ohio State clawed back into the game, this team knew exactly what they needed to do. One timeout, I didn't, I couldn't get a word in because they were talking, so much, which is great. We popped out of the huddle, and Kirk grabbed me and goes, "That was good." That they did all the talking. I said, "Yep, that's that shows some, you know, they were talking through things and like, hey, we've been here before." Um, so it, it it shows that they're they can auto correct before they have to get to a timeout or to a huddle. And tune in this Friday at 6.30 for another edition of Wisconsin Huddle. Our Zach Hanley is joined by Badger star Tyler Wall in an episode you don't want to miss. The, the Wisconsin women were in action tonight hosting the Hoosiers of Indiana. Wisconsin battled early. This is a really good Indiana team that has just three losses all year. But look at Sarah Williams through the teeth of the defense for the tough bucket. Badgers tied at 19, but then in the fourth quarter, these Hoosiers were just too much. Chloe Moore McNeil hits a three to make it a six. 16 point deficit the Badgers couldn't claw out of. Indiana wins it 68 to 54. At this point in the season, I think it's pretty safe to say Wisconsin men's hockey is all the way back. With six games to go in the regular season, the Badgers already have more wins this year than they have in the last decade. The fourth ranked Badgers are a true national contender, and with that comes a target on their backs. But that's not a problem for this Mike Hastings led team. In fact, they embrace it. You kind of have the the role of being the villain, I guess, in that uh, rank for that night, and I think we kind of we kind of accept that. And it's fun when everyone's uh, pumped for whatever team we're playing against, and you can score a goal and kind of silence them. I'm sure any other team wants to do that when they're coming in here. So yeah, I think it's fun for us. And Kyle McClellan, he doesn't give up too many of those crowd silencing goals. The senior goalie was named a finalist for the Mike Richter Award. That's the honor for the nation's top netminder. Of course, Richter was a former Badger, and McClellan is following in his steps. The Badgers lead the country in goals against. We'll be right back. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday only. Get a free Ottoman with this sectional. The President's three-day doorbuster deal starts Saturday at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 60% off list. Get a free recliner with this reclining sofa. Only at Slumberland Furniture. When you donate furniture, cabinets, and appliances to Habitat Restore, you make an impact on neighbors in your community. Profits generated from Restore sales help provide safe and secure housing for hardworking families across Dane County. Donate to make a difference today. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. Trust your home with RG Heating and AC. Interested in an electric vehicle? Bergstrom has the largest selection of electric vehicles and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Bergstrom Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. Ready to transform your skin in one simple step? Introducing Paula's Choice Mandelic and Lactic Acid AHA Liquid Exfoliant. 100% soft smoother, softer, brighter skin. Resurface texture and tone and promote healthy cell turnover without irritation. The next level of exfoliation is here. Available at Paula's Choice and Sephora. Welcome to Sugar River Pizza Company, your go-to place for delicious pizzas and more. 
Visit us at sugarriverpizza.com to explore our menu and plan your visit. Our restaurant is more than just a dining experience. It's a place where you can enjoy great food and have fun. Whether you're a foodie or just looking for a relaxed dining experience, we've got you covered. So come for the food and stay for the fun at Sugar River Pizza Company. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99. Plus, advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday only. Get a free Ottoman with this sectional. The President's three-day doorbuster deal starts Saturday at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 60% off list. Get a free recliner with this reclining sofa. Only at Slumberland Furniture. Bucks at Timberwolves, February 23rd on WISC TV3. There's no reason to panic. The only reason to panic is if you forgot it's Valentine's Day. Colbert's new with Mark Wahlberg and Lily Gladstone. Tonight on CBS. And Alex is back. One final check of the forecast and some precipitation coming overnight. Yep, rain changing into snow as we speak right now. A little bit of a southward shift in this weather system. Now Dane County and points to the north. This will include Madison. Could be looking at three, four inches of snow here in Dane County. To the north, a little bit more, more perhaps four or five inches. And again, winter weather advisories now Iowa, Dane, and Jefferson County and points off towards the north. This is what we're thinking again. Let's say Dodgeville to Madison to Jefferson and points to the north. That's where that heavier snow is going to set up. If this weather system shifts even just a little bit further to the south, could be looking at a little bit more in Madison, so we'll be keeping an eye on it. But nonetheless, the morning commute for all of southern Wisconsin will be impacted tomorrow morning. All right, tune in to the morning show for the very latest, and thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back tomorrow.